Hi, and welcome to the Running Masterclass. I'm going to jump on the treadmill and go through a few short sessions you can fit in in your lunch break. A treadmill is really good for run training because it's very convenient. Most people have a treadmill near them. It's easy to use. It's very measurable. You can actually see how you're improving. I think that's one of the, the key things. And also, if you're doing all your running on the road, it can cause a lot of injury. So having the softer surface of the treadmill can really help. It's that saying you should probably get out and try and run on the road a couple of times a week as well. Three run sessions you could do that would help improve your running fitness. One of the first sessions I would suggest would be a sort of a tempo run. So you have a short warm up on the treadmill. When you, when you feel ready to start, start at a speed which is comfortable and then build up through 20 minutes, just building the speed every sort of five minutes or so so you're reaching a sustainable but a hard pace and then make sure you have a warm down, that's really important. A session to improving speed would be sort of an interval session. What you might do is um, start off with maybe a short rep, a two minute rep and you do that five times with a minute recovery and you want to build this up so every sort of, as you get a bit fitter, you're doing like five by three minutes or five by four minutes, and you want to hold the best possible speed for that. Be careful, you don't want to start off too fast, don't go crazy. You want to make sure that you can get through the set, preferably increasing your speed towards the end if you can. Running off a bike is very different from going out for a normal run, so it is really important to practice that bike to run session, a brick session a few times before the race. It's very easy to do in a gym because you tend to have a bike and a treadmill quite close together so it's a really good place to practice it. Just do a short bike session and then you know put your trainers straight on and do a short run. You can do this two, two or three times through with a short session or just do it maybe a little bit longer on the bike and then just a little bit longer on the run and you will adapt to that jelly legged feeling. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Running Masterclass. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on this this year because again I'm dressing up in fancy dress and the last thing you want is for me to overtake you, all togged up. But see you on the day.